still on backups um, but um, now a different type of types of backups um, you know we've talked about the uh, the full differential and incremental but now how are you actually doing your backups you have the uh, the media you know which uh, whether it's tape, whether it's film. So we've got our, our media, we've got our tapes, we've got our films, we've got our DVDs, CDs, whatever uh, we might have. But what about, um, well, the cloud? Um, and different things, electronic vaulting, for example, um, which... Uh, you know, is is a a remote system, um, but uh, you know it's uh, again you're you're looking at it as a a vault. You're putting something into that, um, and it's not just a you know cloud storage drive, for example. Um, you may have to make specific requests in order to get it back, but you know that it's going to be going in there and uh, stored safely. So, um, you know, like depositing uh, your money in a, you know, a money chest where, you know, it's easy enough to put the coins through the, the slot in the top, but uh, getting it out is a, a different type of activity. Um, remote journaling, again, uh, remotely on a different machine, in the cloud, wherever it may be. But um, sending the transactions, uh, particularly, um, uh, you, uh, you know, have your, uh, your database, which has been backed up and that sort of thing. And, but all the transactions that you are making as you are, you know, buying and selling products, um, go into uh, journal entries which are submitted and then if we need to uh, update uh, that full backup at some point we can apply those journal entries as uh, needed to be done um, so uh, uh, now uh, there's different types of journaling and of course um, there are, uh, there's journaling even in, in terms of uh, uh, word processing and, and document management, uh, those types of things that, you know, whatever uh, changes that you are making are, are stored, uh, not necessarily applied. Um, I know that um, uh, Lieber and OpenOffice have... Um, uh, you know, basically uh, this kind of thing, and, and I remember WordPerfect did as well. Um, and if uh, uh, something goes wrong, um, your machine gets rebooted, which, you know, given if it's a Windows machine, uh, happens regularly on the second Tuesday of the month because it's uh, Windows update time, and they don't care that you have open files. Um, Anyway, um, when that happens, uh, the next time you go to open that file, it says, wait a minute, this has not been updated. You have, you know, a bit of a journal uh, database here, and, uh, you know, do you want me to recover those files? And they recover them just fine. Um, but, you know, it is important. Uh, uh, an important function. Uh Database shadowing, uh, again, as changes are made to the database, uh, they are, those, those changes are copied basically in real time to some other database somewhere. Um, now, you know, is it on the same machine? Is it on the machine in the room next door? Is it across the country? Uh, that's, you know, for you to decide in terms of your business continuity planning, but you know, database shadowing is another another type of um, uh, of backup function.
so you know they there are different different ways to do it, and they have advantages and disadvantages so um, remote duplexing um, and uh, this is not uh, you know the transactions or individual en entities, but it's just sort of you know uh, almost sort of looking at a bit image copy and if there's on on this disk and on that disk um, if there are differences, then you know the differences get copied to that disk. So that, again, you know, hopefully in real time, uh, this is meaning that we have an actual, uh, you know, second copy of, you know, whatever it is that we want to to back up. Um, so, uh, and of course there. There are, you know, different types of uh, backups. Do we want, um, you know, just the files? Do we want the files and the operating system? Um, do we want um, an image backup of, of everything on, you know, the operating system, the settings, the uh, data, the applications? Um, do we want a bit image? copy and this of course becomes important in forensics and we're going to talk about that in the next domain in law investigation and ethics um, so we uh, we need to decide how much how detailed uh, there are um, you know forensics is looking not just at files but at fragments of files that you can find in the slack space giving you indications of files that were there and are no longer, or uh, uh, possibly uh, editing over time that has taken place on on files, uh, things that you can uh, do in that regard. Um, so, uh, and we talk about files, and we've got hybrid image and file backup, um, and as I say. Uh, deciding whether or not we're we're taking the whole of the image and data. So um, backups of our servers, um, maybe uh, have a full distributed system, have file servers um, and database servers, um, user PC and and uh, workstation files, um, and. Do we have the same media handling procedures as, as uh, the data center, um, you know, on our different servers, our, our email servers, our uh, router configuration, our firewalls, you know, all of these things. We need to understand what we need in terms of backups for them and ensure that we've got them.